Oh, hello. My name is Kitty Stewart, and I am the ultimate cat person. I live with seven kitties. This is Rustolian and Gizmo, and two birds. I haven't gone a day in my life without a cat. Um, there's probably nothing that I don't know about kitties. And today, I'm going to tell you some fascinating facts about cats and a little about my personal kitties. And I'm even going to show you how to give them a pill. They hate that. So, welcome to my home and Miss Kitty's seven cats. Tyler, you're an embarrassment to the kitties of Egypt. Did you know that? <laughs> In ancient Egypt, they actually used cats to go hunting with instead of dogs. The cats went out into the rivers and the lakes and fetched fish and fowl the way dogs do today. They were domesticated in about 2000 BC and of course they became goddesses because everyone knows cats are absolutely fabulous. No, you're not seeing things. It is a live Garfield. Look at that face. Only a mommy could love it. Um, Gizmo is a short-haired exotic Persian. Very glamorous, don't you think? Notice he has really short fur and a stocky little Persian body, but to me he's a cross between a teddy bear and maybe a dog. He's so loving. Uh, exotic short-haired Persians were bred in 1960 and it was a cross between a Persian and a Burmese, which are both very cute kitties. So now we have an exotic short-haired Persian. I just love redheads, don't you? Foam a bite. Okay, now you're gonna see something really funny. Check this out. This is Cheetos, my favorite food in the entire world. This is Foamy, my cat. Foamy! Show them the stupid trick that you do. She's being really creepy right now. Normally she stands up to get the Cheeto, but Mommy will let you have it. You shouldn't feed your cat Cheetos. It's really not very nice, but she eats anything that her mommy's eating. So, there we go. Come on, stand up. Oh, oh my, come on. Up, up, up. Stand up. Oh, there you go. There you go. Foma bite. Foma bite. That's such a good baby. So here we are at Pet Fashion Week in New York. Don't you just love Gizmo and his hip, glamorous pink scarf? Gizmo, say hello to everyone out there. Come on, talk. He just loves his mommy. Actually, Angie Everhart has nothing on Gizmo, I don't think at least. Hello there. Check out my baby's tweet and tweeters, and they're hanging out today with Rustoliam and Gizmo. You know what? Love is universal, and all creatures can learn to get along really great, but catch this word, supervision. You don't ever leave your babies alone with the kitties, but my babies all get along really great. Aren't they cute? Don't you just love it? Yeah, you're such a good little baby. So have you ever wondered why a cat has whiskers? Well, I'm going to tell you, even if you didn't wonder. Um, they have them because whiskers tell them so much about everything around them. You notice that Rustoleum's whiskers are just about the same width as his body, so that helps him go in and out of small places. He can see if he can squeeze through there, even if he's been eating like a little pig. It also tells them when they go back like this, as you can see, that means that they're pissed off about something. And never, ever, ever cut their whiskers because they have little sensory things on the end that let them feel what their prey is doing when they catch it, and all kinds of really cool things. They also have whiskers on their eyebrows, and they have whiskers on the backs of their little paws. The ones here do the gross stuff, where when they catch a mouse or a bird or every, anything, it tells them what it is uh, is happening. So there you have it. Leave the whispers long and gorgeous. Ooh, and he's pissed at his mommy. So, Gizmo's very unsuspecting right now. I'm going to show you how to give a cat a pill. Um, he's purring and enjoying the moment. As you notice, rustoleum has got his back to me because he's a lot older and he knows that this could be happening. Now, I'm not going to actually give him a pill, but I'm going to show you a really easy way to do it. You grab him by the back of the neck, you open his little mouth like this, and you just put the pill in. Did you get that? Let's do it one more time just so you're sure. Back of the neck, 
put your hands right there and open his mouth and put it in. And that's all there is to it. So if you ever have to give your baby kitty a pill, you can give it to it. And now it gives Gizmo a kiss. Mmm, I love him so much. So I hope you enjoyed meeting me and my gorgeous kitties today. And I just have to tell you, I've traveled all over the world and I have been with kitties in Egypt, Greece, England, Puerto Rico, Mexico. There isn't probably a continent I haven't been to where I love the little kitties and took photos of them. So I hope you'll join me as I travel the whole world, checking out all the cool things cats do, all the crazy thing cat people do. Trust me, unless you've been to a cat show and met the people that hang out there, you haven't lived, darling. So I'll see you next time when we check out more fabulous things about cats.